In this video, we're gonna talk about camera tracking and movement tracking with Moses. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible, Blackmagic and Atomos. And now, back to the video. All right, what's up? I'm here at Moses with Florian. Hey, Florian, how are you? Good to see thanks you. for coming. Uh, so tell me what you got going on here. A lot, actually, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, we are showing the new Star Tracker Max. So it's a, a new Star Tracker, very compact. It's really going to make a difference when you use it on, uh, on Steadicam, on handheld for camera operators. Yeah, that's a much smaller form factor much than before. Yeah. It's really making a difference. Um, and uh, more coming on it, so upgradable as well. Um, we are showing mocap. Uh, you will see later on we have a show uh, when we are doing mocap with no suit. So basically, uh, you have cameras all around. We put cameras all around the, the rig here. Okay. How many uh, cameras do you need to have set up for like? Uh, here we have six tracking. cameras, okay. and we can track up to four people. And then, if you put more, you can track more people. Okay, very cool. Then it's all going to Unreal. So uh, with our plugin VP Pro, uh, we are also doing that among many other stuff like set extension. You know, when you want to extend uh, smaller AD walls with set extension, so we also show that in the demo after. Uh, something we are showing as well is a Mo Viewer. So if you look on that screen, actually, uh, it's oh, interesting yeah, that if I step on it, uh, you can see the different camera perspective because it's doing a cutout with AI of uh, humans. And then it gives me a perspective of what all the camera have. And then if I switch to it, it will switch the perspective on the wall. AI is removing the LED background and showing a virtual background from different angles. Absolutely, and that's the previous tools for directors. And then when they're happy with the shot and the perspective, then we switch with the correct perspective on the wall. Okay. Which is pretty cool is that you don't have to limit yourself, you don't have to limit creatively, but also the quality because you can really, you don't have to play with the shutter speed, with the lighting exposure to match with like with other way of doing multicast switch, mm -hmm. you can really keep the best of it and um, have that on your wall. So it's really cool. That's very exciting. Uh, and did you have any other updates with the? Uh, yeah, so then we are watching. Uh, we are showing uh, also the Sony with an integrated StarTracker Max in it. So the StarTracker Max is integrated and also the Grass Valley. Uh, so it's quite convenient as well for uh, broadcast environment, right? right? Because you just have to put a Star Tracker on and that's it. It's already uh, embedded inside the camera. Why do we show all the robotics, uh, all our robotics for And, for uh, and what are you most excited about for virtual production in the next couple of years? Well, a lot coming uh, to get more and more realistic virtual production with LED walls, with green screen. Mm -hmm. but also not necessarily massive volumes, as you can see with like a mid-sized LED, mm -hmm. we can do a lot uh, with set extensions. Uh, and then a lot of tools we are working on, we're really excited. Of course, we cannot talk about it yet, <laughs> but it's really gonna make the workflow even more easy. Uh, and that's also, you know, all about workflows. That's why we organized this panel called Momentum. We invited uh, partners and industry leaders to talk about what uh, makes it different from, with the technology for virtual production, like lighting, LED wall, etc. Mm -hmm. or or we have talks about Gaussian splatting, for example, by Volinga, yeah. it really makes a difference these days for virtual production. Have you been experimenting bringing in Gaussian splats into yeah, the environment? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, we, we used it in a production and we talked about it with Volinga yesterday. Uh, okay. I, I could send you more about that. I'm sure it would be very it interesting. It is very interesting. Yeah. So, well, cool. Thanks, yes, Florian. Well, thanks for great stopping update. by and yeah, thanks. Thank you. It. And that is it for this episode. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.